Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here. It's Saturday, so that means yet another update to the Signalis multiplayer mod. For those who aren't aware, the Signalis multiplayer mod is a mod that is seeking to add multiplayer co-op to Signalis. We are decently a bit through. We have things like networking set up and we have things like basic movement and that stuff, but we're still a decent bit ways off. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about what progress has been made over the last week, what testing needs to be done, and then future plans as always. So thank you all, and let's just get right into this. So starting off, let's talk about the progress. Last I left off, there was kind of a poll that was done to figure out what focus you all want me to start with. Because entering LOV, we kind of had two problems. One was regarding cutscenes and bullions, and the other is regarding move, um, really this weird floating bug with weaponry. Uh, I said that weaponry would take like three weeks to fix, while the cutscenes would take one. And I was correct. You all voted for the cutscenes. We're a week later. They're completely fixed. So as of this moment, the cutscenes for both Isa and the Star are synchronized. What this means is if that if one player triggers them, it will teleport the other player in to force both players through the cutscene. Now, before any of you get up in arms about, wow, that sounds crazy, I also had a vote by the community to see if that's the way they wanted to handle it, and it does seem like it is. In the future, if this is something that really bothers a lot of people, I can decouple it, but at the moment, that won't be the case. Um, and it would be, I can make it optional in the far future. But for now, no. So at the moment, if you're playing through Signalis multiplayer and you get to LOV and you see Isa, then both you and your duo should see Isa at around the same time. Is some pretty big progress. And fixing the cutscenes was kind of the main goal of this week. But in regard, other regards, there was also some fixes regarding regular bullion. Things like the aperture card are now fixed, and as well as the safe situation, where the safes are now synchronized, where they previously were having a little bit of an issue. There are still some minor bugs regarding the pistol, for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why the pistol isn't fully working, but it isn't at this moment, so there does need to be work on that regard. And there is also, you know, the bugs regarding the guns. So what's new from the testing that we have found? Well, because of testing, we actually had the largest test session this week than we've ever had. We had uh, three co concurrent testing sessions uh, in one day. And, and usually that's never the case. Usually we have like one person and it's me and usually this username Tat that do all the testing. But this week we actually had a lot of testers. And what that resulted in is we actually found some new bugs. And those bugs were this one bug where if you're looting while somebody starts a cutscene or starts something else, then that will cause a problem. And then there's also this other bug we found where if you're loading into LOV or loading out of LOV, there, there's some real issues still that we kind of thought were fixed, uh, scene fixing, switching wise. So those will have to be fixed. Those will probably be next week's priority, uh, stabilizing scene switching so that way you can really just play through all of LOV. Um, and also, of course, you know, making a little bug with teleporting. And I think that's really highlights how important it is that we get more testers. You know, me and Tat that do the vast majority of the testing for this mod can't find every bug. We're not going to be able to. We play in a certain play style. We've kind of gotten used to it. We kind of speed run Signalis in a way, the way we test. And the byproduct of that is we're just not going to find a lot of the bugs. And that's why we really need testers. When So if you have Signalis on Steam and you have a somewhat decent PC, feel free to join the Discord, download the Nexus mod, and just we will help you set it up we will help you get everything ready you know don't worry about it being too hard we can help you but we do really need the assistance so from there we can move into the future well certainly the initial plans are going to be fixing the sweet scene switching bug uh that that crash is really unacceptable we really need that fixed so that will definitely be priority one um priority two is probably going to be that weird bug regarding if you're looting and cutscene at the same time uh, I don't like bugs that like completely glitch out the entire game, so that will be definitely priority number two. Priority number three is going to be fixing the pistol, seeing if I can get it fixed. That is not going to be a high priority, but it'd be nice to get it fixed. And then finally, priority number four, really the main, you know, meat and potatoes of what's going to probably be next week's update, is really looking into uh 
polishing up what remains of LOV. So that's going to be things like looking to see if maybe we can get some animations more rolling. Maybe we can get some more things cleaned up, seeing what we can do. Um, because after after this week, you know, going into two weeks from now, uh, it's going to be between DO, DET or the guns again. And that's going to be a very interesting week because DET is very large. LOV is maybe 10 minutes long, same length as the Penrose. I think we manage six, seven bullions, maybe eight. That's not going to be the case of DET. DET is like going to be 20, 30. So definitely going to be looking forward to that week. So this has been a good week for City MP. Uh, thank you all for following along. I do have to hope because City Court has been pressuring me. If you want to support the channel, you can via a link in the description to my Ko-Fi. Apparently, you can, if you have the money and you're willing to, I appreciate it. But do not feel pressured. I understand we all have financial hard at the moment. Uh, also, the new intro that was on this video was made by an amazing user named Hazy. They greatly appreciate their work. Um, <laughs> and finally wrap up today's video if you would like to talk about the multiplayer mod do some testing yourself or really anything my video is linked below this has been all for this week i hope you all enjoy the mod and are excited to see its future progress until next time it's released ciao